In Tales of the Empire Episode 2, which takes place several years after the Night Sisters of Dathomir were massacred, Morgan is now an Imperial Magistrate on the planet Corvus. Morgan presents the committee with her proposal to alter the Starfighters to increase their speed, protection, and lethality at the beginning of the episode. The only drawback is the high expense associated with large-scale implementation of these changes. When questioned, Morgan tells the committee that Planet Corvus has a plenty of resources, so she can provide the upgrades. Sadly, the agreement collapses, and the committee admits they never cared for Morgan's schemes, and that their true goal was to seize control of the Planet Corvus resources. Morgan is given the command to head back to Corvus and wait for the Empire to arrive. Following the unsuccessful meeting, Morgan encounters Galad Pelian, who, in contrast to others, has a strong interest in her designs. Dilad makes a reference to Grand Admiral Thrawn when he says that he works for someone who is constantly in need of visionaries. When Morgan returns to Corvus, he tells the people that the Empire is more interested in the raw materials their planet generates than in their labor force. The fact that Morgan had promised them prosperity and that was a major factor in her election has infuriated the native population. Morgan thinks there will soon be a rebellion. Rook, a highly competent Nogri assassin serving for Grand Admiral Thrawn, attacks Morgan late at night while she is supervising her base. But all of this is merely a test, since Rook was dispatched to check how well Morgan could function under duress. It also indicates that Admiral Thrawn, who is impressed by Morgan's insight and skill, he regrets that Morgan's brilliance and talent have gone unnoticed by the Empire due to its lack of foresight. Admiral Thrawn then continues to commend Morgan on her inventions, pointing out that, contrary to the Empire's objective of increasing profit, they are not cost-effective. Thrawn questions Morgan about why she asked Imperial for help at the end of the episode, to which she replies that she needed it for retaliation. Thrawn gives her command over a section of his fleet to utilize whichever she pleases after being impressed by her response. The episode review, Morgan Elsbeth has lost her way and is driven by rage instead of reason in this second episode, which is set years after the events of the first one, The Path of Fear. She is accepted by the Corvus people, but she turns against them because she thinks she is better than them. She unexpectedly befriends Admiral Thrawn, who is renowned for being cold and cunning and for constantly prioritizing his own interests. It's shocking, then, when he offers Morgan a piece of his fleet. He's obviously up to something significant, but what precisely? 